If you like to run or jog or even speed walk, then this next report might save you a lot of pain. Ion Health reporter Christy Kruger is here to show us why many back, knee, and foot injuries are the result of wearing bad shoes. I had no idea, but now I know, and I'm going to get new shoes. Before you lace up your sneakers and hit the streets for that energizing run, you really might want to check out your shoes. I've learned a lot of injuries happen when shoes aren't made properly or have simply worn out. So if you're on the run, here are ways to find out if your shoes are on the mark. Running is great exercise for the heart and a good way to fight stress. But running can sometimes be a real pain. After I finished running the New York Marathon, I started feeling lower back pains and it reflected all the way down to my leg. Nora's injury was caused by her running shoes. The air pockets in her shoes had suddenly given out and Nora's foot was rolling in, straining her leg. Physical therapist Bruce Wilk found the problem. I mean, it's like a balloon or a tire. It and it, it just got flat. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I wasn't aware that I was having problems with my shoes. Nora is getting physical therapy now and should start running again soon. Therapists see a lot of injuries just like Nora's, ones caused by shoes. It's buyer beware. That's because experts say some shoes are defective. This brand new shoe is already out of shape and rolling in. It won't support the foot at all. Wilk says check your shoes right out of the box. See that the shoe is straight, be it a walking shoe, running shoe, go into work shoe, and then be checking the shoes through the life that they don't roll in and break down. Also, make sure the shoe parts are securely glued. Eyelets should be even. Plus, shoes need to be straight and balanced on a flat surface. No rolling in. The bottoms should start out even. I learned my running shoes made me a calf injury just waiting to happen. After months of wear and tear, Bruce told me to throw them out. It is like most runners, you're an overpronator. That means my feet roll in and my heels wear down quickly. When your heels look like this, you're very likely to run right into trouble. You can see if you hit here, if you don't have enough height here, you'll overstretch the calf. Experts say a good running shoe will last 300 to 500 miles. Your mileage could be less if your shoes get wet, um, like if you run on a treadmill in a warm gym or if you run in the rain. Now, here's how you actually check the bottoms of the shoe. Let's see if we can see that. You put them on a flat surface. You hold them here at the top, and if they rock, see, unfortunately, I'm a heel striker as well as a roll inner, so my heel has really worn out here. It rocks. It's not giving me any kind of support. Now, how Roll long, out. approximately, did you run in these shoes? I know you gave way it a mileage. Long. Yeah, but... way too long. Uh, pr less, less than a year, but more than six months. And I run about three miles about four times a week. So it's time to get a new pair. And with the cost of shoes, that uh, can be expensive. Yeah, it can, it can run you up there. But, I mean, as opposed to golf or tennis, those are also expensive sports. This one's pretty cheap. Uh, easy to do. Save you a lot of pain. Thank you. Christy? I'm going to go home and rock my tennis shoes. <laughs> Thank you, Christy.